Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be investigating a problem that I've got on my VFR with the indicators. Um, what I'll do, um, I'll talk about it and then I'll demonstrate it uh, in a second. Basically, um, when indicating right, the indicators won't stay on. It'll flash, as soon as I let go of the button, they go off. Um, if I indicate to the left, they indicate fine. However, if I hold the button to the right, they work as normal, but I have to hold it there in order for them to uh, continue to work. Um, what I'm expecting to see um, is a bit of corrosion inside the uh, left switch gear. That's my expectation. Um, what I have noticed is uh, this has happened twice. And both times it's happened, it's been after uh, a lot of heavy rain, where the bike's been sat outside um, getting wet. Uh, and then I've ridden it afterwards and then I've noticed the fault. Um, however, this time um, it hasn't gone away. The, the fault has remained. So yeah, let's uh, let's dig into it and uh, see what we can figure out. By the way, um, what I will say is apologies for my uh, for my condition. I've had quite a lot on today, and I'm a bit filthy. <laughs> Okay, turn the ignition on and indicate to the left. As you can see, left one works fine. If I cancel it, indicate to the right, let go, and as you can see, it flashes once. Oh, now it seems to want to work. So we've got a bit of a yeah, we've got a bit of a, we've got a bit of an intermittent problem here, and I'm expecting there to be corrosion in there. So what we're going to do is going to pull the switch gear apart and have a good uh, good look inside, see what we can find. Uh, if it's corroded, then we can clean it up, treat it with a little bit of di uh, dielectric grease, and hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be fine. Um, you know, for, for for a good amount of time to come. Okay, first what we need is a JIS screwdriver. Okay, in order to get the switch gear off, what we need to do is remove two screws. There's one there, and there's another one just there, where my fingernail is. And these are both JIS, JIS screws, Japanese Industrial Standard. Um, if you try and use a Phillips on them, you'll probably find you'll just strip them out. Um, obviously, I've talked about this plenty in the past, uh, and I won't continue to bore you to tears about it. So there's one screw. And there's the other screw. Now what will happen is this will split the two parts in half. You'll have the top part and the, and the bottom part and they should pop apart quite easily. Now sometimes when, uh, when you fit um, these heated grips the glue can, can squeeze out and uh, get itself on the housing. Um, as you can see, there's the glue for the for the heated grips just inside there. But I think I think we're okay. To be fair, um, yeah, we're all good. Right then, let's have a let's have a good look at the switch gear. When I get it out from around the bar, and there we go. Right. This part doesn't look too bad, that looks pretty good in there. This part, there's a bit of grease in there. I think what I might do is just strip the switch apart a little bit, give it a good, give it a good clean and a re-grease with some more dielectric grease and I think we may, uh, we may be okay. So let me pop this screw out. Pop the switch off. And here is what it is that activates the actual indicators themselves. Just there. I'm not seeing anything particularly obvious in there, if I'm being honest. It all looks pretty good. 
Yeah, it all looks pretty good in there. And this is basically a micro switch, and I don't think it's, there's any user serviceable parts inside. I think it's a, a case of replacing it if it's um, if it's uh, if it's not working correctly. Um, I think what I'll do, I'll get a bit of dielectric grease in there, give it a little uh, give it a little back and forth with the switch, get a bit of grease in there, and then hopefully that'll um, keep any corrosion at bay, keep any water out, and. Perhaps, and then what I'll do, I'll monitor, I'll monitor the situation and see if it gets any worse. If it does, then I may have to replace the switch gear. But I can't see anything blatantly obvious um, within the switch. To be perfectly honest, I was expecting to see a fair, uh, a fair amount of corrosion in here, but it certainly isn't. Um, it certainly isn't the case. Right then, let's get a bit of grease in there and uh, work it into the system. Right then, I've got a little, uh, I've got a little tin of dielectric grease what I need to do is just get a smear of it on my on my finger it's basically just a basically just a silicon grease um, the grease itself doesn't conduct any electricity but what it does in um, uh, you know systems like this is it stops water getting in but still allows the circuits to work um, because obviously it doesn't in, it doesn't impede the actual circuits themselves, but it prevents water getting in there. Right. Now let's get the switch. Get a bit of grease on there. Get this all back together as it's supposed to be. There we are, there's all the, the little washers assembled on the switch. Just pop it in to position and then screw it back together. Greasy fingers. Like a bit of grease around, make sure everything's got a liberal coat just to keep the water out. Right, what I'm going to do before I reassemble it, I'm going to give it a test and see uh, see if the uh, see if the fault comes back. Okay, ignition on. Left, we knew that that worked. Cancel. Right, and it's working. Right, it's working. It's working. It's working. Left. Hmm. Oh no, it's working again. It see, it was a little bit intermittent there. Let's done it again. And again. Hmm. It is a bit intermittent. I think I may have to just monitor that and see uh, see how we get on. Hmm. I may uh, I may update again when I know something else. Um, it may be the case that I need to replace the switch gear. I might have to pull it apart a little bit further, but that involves taking it off the bike. Um, but I'm not doing that today because I do actually want to use the bike this evening to go to work. So what I'm going to do is reassemble for now. There's like a little rubber gasket there that goes on either side of this channel. Just need to make sure that that's located correctly and then there we go. Obviously press the horn as you're assembling it just to uh, deafen yourself a little bit. Right let's turn the uh, ignition off. Let's get the two screws in there's two they're actually different lengths the shorter one goes at the front and the, the longer one goes at the back bars to one side and then 
gives us enough room to be able to nip them up. Let's have another look. Left indicator fine. Right indicator is fine. Right. Fine. Fine. See, now I'm not getting it to replicate the fault. Yeah, it did it more often than not before, so hopefully I've uh, hopefully I have rectified it. Right. I'm happy with that for now. That's definitely going to be fine for this evening for uh, my ride to work. So I'll uh, I'll leave it there and I will monitor it. And um, if if necessary, then obviously I'll update you. Um, if uh, if I can't get it to uh, be you know operate any better, then it may be a case of having to uh, you know change the uh, change the switch gear out. But uh, I, I I think I'd rather pull it apart first and have a good investigation into the innards and um, with it off the bike first. Anyway. Um, just a quick video there, nothing too, uh, nothing too strenuous. Hope, hope you found it interesting, um, and I'll uh, see you all in the very next video. Thank you very much, guys. Bye bye now.